I'm going to do the S key or shortcuts bar and mouse gestures. The S key, just generically, if you press it, brings up a customizable toolbar right at your cursor. You can search commands in here, and then you can put different commands in here. If I was going to search something, we'll say as simple as move, I can find that item in here. I can do a move copy body. I can click on commands here. I can also search for them, or I can go click this plus, and it'll go add, move copy body to it. I'll research that same one just so we get the same results. And if I go pick the eyeball, it'll also go show me, move the mouse exactly to where it is. So pretty much everybody can find it with a nice flashy red arrow. That is completely customizable by just going to customize and going to the shortcuts bar. And we can adjust this for parts, assemblies, drawings, and sketches. And just by picking on the different ones, you can see the different commands. Back on our part one, we can see there's our move copy body we added. I can take this and adjust the length. I needed this to come out, or if I wanted it to go down, you can make it kind of look exactly how you want. Go add commands this way too, or do them as they're happening. My other one is the mouse gestures, and I'll show it, and then I'll come back and show how to customize it. Instead of just pressing the S key, I right click the mouse button and drag a little bit. And then there's different commands. These are just views. And this is again different. If I switch my modes to sketch mode and I drag my mouse gestures, I have my different commands there too. Uh, again, if I press my S key, you can see the customizations there or changes. I'll go back out and customize my mouse gesture and here we can make some awesome customizations can change this from as little as two to as many as 12 gestures uh, and when you pick those that updates the wheel here on the side we can search for commands here uh, center line is one that I personally like to use a lot and I'm going to go take this and I'm going to add it on my sketch one and place a circle and it adds it in there if I want that same one somewhere else like on my drawings so that I have line and center line the same. I can just hold control, click and drag and bring that down and it adds it there. Otherwise, just by grabbing something off, like section view, I can just set it in place and now there's nothing in that one. And then there's more. If you hit print gestures, you can go print this wheel off and have that copy to go put up on your desk next to your monitor. So when you're trying to learn your mouse gestures, you have that all available. You don't have to try to remember where 48 different gestures are. When you combine these all together, they can make you faster. They make it easier. You're not having to move your mouse around a bunch. Um, it, everything stays essentially centered in the screen because your cursor is there. When you press the buttons, they come up or swipe. You're not having to always go hunt and peck and find where commands are. They're just right there where they're supposed to be.